Happy Friday morning, Mountaineer fans. It's Chris. It's Mike. It's earsports.com taking up three minutes of your morning. Mike, do you know what tomorrow is? I think there's a, a football game. Yeah, there is a football game. West Virginia University will hold their annual spring game tomorrow. So far this spring, some good news. Nothing too crazy happening. Nothing too alarming uh, on the football side of things, which is exactly what Neil Brown and company want. But what are the fans? What, what do you want to see, Mike? What do you want to see from West Virginia University on Saturday? Again, we know it's a spring game. Who knows what's going to be out there? But what can you take from what you see on Saturday? I want to see where the defense is and where I think it should be is maybe different than what a lot of people are going to expect or what they would hope for here. When I think about what the offense did to the defense last year, in the spring, in the summer, even in fall camp, and then maybe during the season when that practices were good win against good, that offensive line, those – developing rising receivers got after the defensive line, the linebackers, the secondary heard different stories this year, Chris, the offensive line isn't the same. They have a lot of competitive defensive backs. Their pass rush is better. They have good linebackers. Chris, I would like to see the defense get after the offense. I'm not saying you pay it back in one day, but you kind of make it known that this is a defense. that's not going to get pushed around by their teammates. Never mind the opposition that can attack up front, that can use the linebackers in different roles to match up and to overcome the offense. There are defensive backs at different levels and different spots in the secondary to make plays in the ball. You can blitz, you can get in the backfield, you can knock balls down. I'd like to see the defense actually make some progress, but not only that, and what it seems to be in the, a promising spring, developing in this 3-4 with more quality acquisitions, with an exclamation point that the offense, hey, maybe fine. Good quarterback, good receivers, offensive line has some players, running game should be fine. But boy, did you see that defense attack? Did you see that defense step forward? Did you see that defense get the better of some exchanges, you know, in situational football? That I think would make everybody feel better. Is it possible? Sounds like it will happen. We'll see. Two little things and one big thing. Little things, well, actually the little things might be more important, but linebacker, I want to see how Josiah Trotter and Trey Lathan move. I just want to see how they move. That's all. Both coming back from traumatic injuries. Um, I want to see them move. Um, quarterback. Lots of talk about how Nico's made big strides. There's no drop off behind Garrett Green. And then also about how Green has made strides himself and, and gotten better um, focusing on his accuracy and trying to work on that. That might be a couple things that we are able to see. We obviously won't see the, the big parts of their game, which includes running and different things. So I want to see a little bit there. Also, what fan support? You know, last year, things were maybe at an all-time low. You know, fans were upset with Neil Brown. They, a lot of them wanted him gone. They didn't think he could be able to do anything more than six and six or five and seven. West Virginia went nine and four. They did a good job in the portal. They kept players. They added players. They did a good job in recruiting. Things are looking up. They got their quarterback back. The offense might be on the verge of exciting, maybe. Will fans show up? Right now, weather says good, 70, oak overcast. Might be a good day to get out there and watch the team. I'm curious what the fan turnout is going to be like if there's some fans that were kind of in the middle last year that have turned the corner on Neil Brown and the Mountaineers. 